I want to go to my partner, who's a uh, television producer, a uh, director, video director. He got his own album out now. He's also done projects like he did the record Crush on You by Little Kim. You know, he does uh, Mary J. Blige. He's done Michael Jackson, Biggie, Mace, so many different other artists. And I'm going to give him the floor and let him tell you what he's about and what he can bring to the One thing I got to express to you guys is that you got to take advantage of the opportunities that you have just being here in New York City because you have access, so much access that other people around the country don't have. You're always running into somebody on the train, uh, in a record store, in a club. You're always going to run into different people that are in the music business. And you don't always have to be like an artist, a singer, or a rapper to, you know, be in the music business. There's so many different avenues, so many different things to do. You, a lot of people start off doing one thing, you may have a degree in one thing, and you may end up doing something totally different in the music business. Mm -hmm. So you should just, you know, follow the things that you're passionate about, the things that you're really interested in, and pursue those things. Um, right now is the best time really to get into the music business because it's been simplified so much from every aspect. Everybody has marketing companies, record labels, just different things that they're doing via, uh, via the web. So there's a lot of opportunity out there, a lot of opportunity for you to start your company and think of innovative ways to market yourself on the web and market your company on the web. So um, the main thing that I want to stress to you is that when you uh, decide what it is that you want to do, just do a lot of research. You can do a lot of research on the web and find out where your niche is and the things that you want to do and just pursue those things. For me as a producer, like I said, everything's been simplified to the recording process where now I can be the record label, I can be the recording artist, I can market myself, I can make my music on the computer and uh, I can hit people and touch people that, you know, in all parts of the world. And like when I started my company, I was like, I was seeing everybody had all these different MySpace pages with all their music up there and everything. And I was like, wow, it's going to take me a minute to get to where they're at. But you got to just dive in and you got to just work on it every single day. If you take time out and work on your career every day, do one thing towards building your company every, every day, Within six months it'll grow, within a year it'll grow, and then next thing you know you're like competing with a, a, a lot of other companies that are really established doing their thing. And the thing is just try to be innovative and different and uh, try to come up with something that you know will separate you from other companies that are out there. So. Any questions? I have a question. Mm -hmm. I have a son who's a writer. Mm -hmm. um, he writes books and he just wrote a play. He's in the process of being purchased. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not out there, so I was suggesting to him to put himself on uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. One of his books is being sold at Barnes and Noble, uh -huh. and his boys, boys to men, vice versa. Uh -huh. And so he just wrote a play about um, a guy who's changing his house around, he's buying new furniture and new cars for him and his wife. His wife's on vacation, and in the end, he's trying to get the stuff back. Because he was dreaming, mm -hmm. he dreamt that he won the lottery, <clears throat> that he won the lottery, and <coughs> found out he didn't win the lottery. So now he's trying to replace the old furniture before the wife comes back home. <laughs> But yeah, definitely, uh, YouTube is a great place to market your stuff. Music, anything that you do, YouTube is a place to market it. You'd be surprised at all the things on there from like even instructional videos, whatever you want. Like you can put it on YouTube and like everybody goes there and you can just build it. And a lot of companies are coming in when they see something like on the come up on YouTube. A lot of companies want to get involved and they want to take it to a whole nother level. So, you know, just getting on there and marketing it and putting as much video up there as possible, a lot of people will, will come to your site. And just try to figure out ways to get people to come to your site, innovative ways to get people to come to your site. Yeah. Now that you have um, more marketing control, are you seeing more dollars in your pocket versus the record company? What about the pros? Um, well, definitely you, you are having access to the money firsthand where it's not going through a chain of people before you receive it. 
but the thing about it is it's it's a lot more work because like at the end of the day you don't have a, you don't have more money than the record labels the record labels are always going to be able to mm -hmm. put more money into it mm -hmm. but the thing about it it has to go through so many people and you receive mm -hmm. such a smaller portion of it so there's an upside to being with a record company because they can market you in places that you can't get to and they can do it uh, faster than you can yourself. But if you're committed to it and you want to spend the time to develop it and market it yourself, you'll make more money in the end. But it's just getting through that period of like marketing every single day and just building the brand over and over again until it's just, you know, exploded. But eventually they're going to come in. Eventually they're going to make you an offer that you probably won't refuse. But that's the payoff of like just building your brand like that though. Oh, okay. yeah. Are you looking for new artists now? Um, I'm, I'm more or less looking for artists that have taken the steps to uh, break themselves initially and just start building their own buzz and then coming in and showing them how to take that to the next level more than anything. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, Artist development has changed so much over the years now so it's like a lot of artists are not really prepared to be in the music business. It's like you see what's on MTV and BET and you think you have an idea of how, it, how it's supposed to be. But there's a lot of things that happen behind the scenes and a lot of preparation. And the music business, for me, i found at the end of the day is more, it's probably 75% like mental than it is actually just having the talent to do it because it's, it's ups and downs, it's disappointments, but it's just getting past that and just truly believing in what it is that you do and what you bring to the table and just constantly pursuing that. I'm just going to do this, it's important. Thank you. That's what I was going to ask, with the music industry so competitive, how do you go about picking your artists? Um, I look for artists that are going against the grain, trying to do something different, not afraid to do something different. <laughs> Uh, it's important that an artist be very secure in what their abilities are and what it is that they bring to the table. I mean, everybody, American Idol has made everybody think that they can be a star and they can be an artist. But when you look at the numbers of those artists that were on American Idol and won, yeah. they, at the end of the day, they really didn't sell a lot of records. It's only two, maybe two of them that like are true superstars that can, you know, last in this industry. A lot of them, you know, if you think about it, it's a karaoke contest yeah, exactly. because you're not writing the song, mm -hmm. all you're doing is singing somebody else's song, and that really doesn't prove that you can be an artist. I mean, I can go in the church and I can find singers all day that can really sing and, you know, present a song, and, but it doesn't necessarily mean they have what it takes to be an artist. There's so many things that go into that, and that's what artist development is about, you know, with your stage show, how you conduct interviews, um, your ability to record in the studio, singing live, you know, all those different things go into that. And now there's no artist development, so a lot of those artists aren't prepared to do that. And that's why you don't see a lot of superstars out there right now as you did back in the day. And just where the music is going, the music is, everybody's doing the same thing. You know, everybody's falling, whereas before, like, you had Motown had a sound, Stax had a sound, Philly International had a sound. So all the different regions had their own sound, and it was all, it was all soul music, but they all had their different uh, take on it. And that's what made it different and, and separated it from everything. But now, it's like everybody buys the same pieces of equipment. Everybody uses the same thing. They hear something on the radio, and they want to you know, do their version of it. So at the end of the day, all the music sounds alike. So what's happening at the end is like you're not getting a, a diverse um, view of what, what R&B can be and what soul music is about.